Today we are grooming Yeti, the three-year-old Great Pyrenees, and Maremma Cross. Yeti has a bite history, so for safety purposes, I will be doing the majority of his groom with the muzzle on. He charged at the cameraman upon arrival and wasn't keen on getting into the shower, so I'll be bathing him outside on this lovely summer day. Okay, buddy. You're gonna be a nice boy. Oh yeah, you don't care. <laughs> Good boy. So I am bathing him out here because he was growling at both me and the cameraman in the shop. And so I didn't feel comfortable being in the enclosed shower with him. And I don't think he felt comfortable. So we are bathing him outside instead, which is just fine because it's the summertime and it's warm outside anyway. He is in desperate need of a grooming. So instead of sending him home, I decided to try something else to make this work where I felt safe and the dog also felt comfortable. Come on, up. Up, up, let's go. Oh, or lay down. <laughs> okay then. I guess I will hit you with some soap. Yeti is deaf, which could partly be some of the reason why he's a little bit aggressive because he's nervous since he doesn't have one of his senses that are important for him. This is my first dog that has laid down completely for a bath. This is quite funny. I wish I could blow dry him out here, but I can't hook up my dryer out here, unfortunately. Good boy, good boy. Like it better out here than in the shop? Good boy. We're gonna have to get up, man. I can't give you a proper bath if you're laying down. Because of his bite history, we are keeping the muzzle on for safety. I'll take it off if I feel he doesn't need it. But to start, it's better we keep it on just in case. I'm gonna rinse him and then I'm gonna shampoo him again. This dog's bite history was at home. He was probably protecting his house, which is what he is meant to do because he is a livestock guardian dog. So for him to be aggressive outside of the home is probably pretty slim, but he did growl when he got here. So we are listening to his warnings. Could you lay on the other side though so that I can rinse this side? No? Okay. Okay, more nasty critter shampoo. He's really, really dirty. You're okay, buddy. I don't mind working with difficult dogs, but when it comes to enclosing myself in the shower with them, it can be a risk. So it's nice to have this option. It's nice that he's here in the summer and I can do this outside. Let's make you white again. Okay.
Come on. Let's go. Up, up. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Stay there, okay? Got to wash your face. You're filthy. Other than growling when he first came in, he seems to be doing quite well, so I might leave the muzzle off of him for the remainder of his rinse. Okay, I just gotta make sure you're fully rinsed, bud. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, so despite the fact that I bathed him several times, he is still greasy. So I am not going to put conditioner on him because that's just gonna make him even more greasy. Um, I could use like Dawn dish soap or something like that, but I have no idea if this dog has sensitive skin. So I don't wanna go ahead and use dish soap without having previously discussed that with the owner. So I think I'm just gonna do a bit more rinsing just to make sure all the soap's out. And then we are gonna bring him back inside and put him on the drying table. I think he will be good for the dryer since he's deaf and he can't hear it. And I'm no longer overly concerned about his behavior because he seems to have calmed down significantly. And trust me, blowing a lot of coat, so he is going to shed a lot. I wish I could dry him outside, but my dryer, the amps that it needs in order to run, it, I have a specific electrical hookup in the shop for it, so I can't use it outside. I could use my other dryer, but it's far too weak. We'll be here all day trying to dry him. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to dry him inside. Right? You're a really good boy. Do you like all of the attention? I think so. Okay, I'm just gonna let him roam freely on the ground because he didn't wanna get on the table and I'm gonna blow dry him. Hopefully he doesn't try to run away. He is deaf again, so I don't need to use the happy hoodie because he won't be able to hear the dryer anyways.
He took quite some time to dry, but he is finally dry. So I'm spraying him down in the stuff for dogs, and now I'm going to brush him with my coral slicker brush. It's not easy grooming you on the ground, mister. It really isn't. You're gonna be nice. He wanted the treats mm -hmm. that were on the ledge. What, you don't like this? Are you tired? You look tired. How do you think I feel? So I'm just going through him with the coral slicker brush and the dematter. He's only got a little bit of matting. His coat's actually in fairly good condition. Looks like he's falling asleep. You want me to stop? I can't stop. I can't. Good boy. down again? That's helpful. Good boy. Good boy. I'm saying good boy, forgetting once again that he can't hear anything that I'm saying. You're gonna look really nice when you're done. He has some mats in his tail that I'm going to shave out. So I don't think he would appreciate me brushing them. You know, you don't like having your paws touch too much. I think they're kind of ticklish. This is very convenient for me to get these paws done. I'm looking at his nails and they actually look really short. I wonder if they clip his nails at home because these dew claws look like they've been recently clipped. The only one that seems a little bit long is that one, but everything else seems very, very short. I'm glad that I chose to do this dog on the floor because if he wanted to lay down on the table, it was definitely going to be difficult.
He might not be perfect at the end, but he's definitely going to be a million times better than when he came in, that's for sure. He's got some mats back here and he doesn't like when I brush them, so we're just going to shave them out. You gonna let me lift this leg, buddy, so I can shave under there? You really needed this. You look like a whole different dog. Hmm? Good boy, good boy. Please don't jump, please don't jump. Okay, I'm trusting you, so you better be trustworthy. Don't come at me. Your ears are shedding. Hey. How pretty you look. Hmm? Handsome? I know you got all this stuck hair in here. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna lay back down. Look at all that hair, it's stuck inside your ear. Good boy. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. In total, Yeti took me three hours and 45 minutes to complete. He was extremely well behaved for the entire groom and his personality was really quite adorable. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think he liked me. His owners have been fearful to take him to a groomer after his bite incident, but I informed them that I believe he will do just fine with any groomer. When livestock guardian dogs are removed from their home, they are much more relaxed as they don't have anything that they have to protect. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this beautiful transformation.